Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video will be solving end chapter problems 7, 8, and 9 from chapter number 2 of Mr. Ballstead book about series diode configuration. So before we start, let's uh, key this circuit and when we are for sure that the diode is forward bias, like it is here, the battery is positive is connected to the positive of the terminal, or even the current direction is same as the diode arrow, then this diode is forward bias. So we'll straight away replace the diode with its equivalent voltage. For silicon diode, we'll be using 0.7 volt. For germanium diode, it will be 0.3 volt. And for gallium arsenide diode, it will be 1.2 volt. But there may be a scenario where we don't know for sure whether the diode is forward biased or reverse biased. Like here, 10 volt is applied here, but 10 volt is again applied on the opposite side. So in that case, we'll use a zero ohm resistance in place of a diode. And then we'll calculate the current in the circuit. And once we know the current to be positive, then we can say that the diode is forward biased. And if the current is zero or the current is negative, then the current the diode will be called reverse bias or open. Like if the diode has current is zero, then it will be open circuit or reverse bias. And similarly, if the current is negative, it will be reverse bias. So with this knowledge, let's solve the first question. Uh, determine the uh, level of V0, so output voltage actually we have to find. 12 volt is applied here, so straight away we can guess that the diodes are forward bias because positive voltage is here, the current will be flowing in this way, and so uh, the current direction and the diode arrows are in the same direction, therefore both the diodes will be forward biased. Uh, so we replace the diodes with the uh, their equivalent voltages, we also for our ease we are drawing a battery here, 12 volt battery, and now we can calculate the current, and once we have calculated current, we can find this voltage. So let's use KVL. So why KVL? We're starting from here, so minus 12, plus 7, plus 3, plus I into 2K, plus I into 10K. So this is what we have written, KVL, and solving, we find I to be this value 11 divided by 12k. And now the output voltage we not can be found by i into 10k, i into 10k, putting the value of i multiplied by 10k, we get the answer to be 9.17 volt. So this is the first part. Part B is here we have the confusion that we have a, a battery here 10 volt and battery here 10 volt. So let's follow the technique that we have mentioned that we replace the diode with a zero ohm resistance. We draw with the batteries connected now, so that this some circuit will be more easier to follow. Here still we have a 10 volt here and 10 volt here. We don't know the current direction, so we'll assume a current direction. Just like this, and then write KVL equation. by KVL, you know, you can follow this, minus 10, then I into 1.2, and I into 4.7, and plus 10. From here, we calculate I, and I will be equal to 0. So, the current is 0, and we know that when the current or the diode current is 0, that means the diode is reverse biased. So we redraw the circuit using this option. So reverse bias, open circuit, and now uh, no current will flow from here, but this circuit uh, will have a voltage, and if you have doubt how to write this voltage, we can redraw this circuit. From here, you can directly write that the output voltage will be 10 volt, but let's redraw to be more clear. So we can draw this 10 volt as battery here, and then this resistance here in the output. Now we can 
say for sure that whatever is the battery voltage that will be the output voltage so v out will be 10 volt remember no current is flowing here so no voltage drop and then part c uh, for this uh, a student has requested so just try to understand here also we know for sure that the diode is forward bias because the current direction and the diode arrows are same and therefore we replace the diode with the battery 0.7 now for ease of uh, solving this it is better that we replace this circuit with its equivalent circuit by using source transformation technique in source transformation if there is a current source and a parallel resistance this can be replaced with the voltage source and the same resistance in series and the value of the voltage source will be current multiplied by the resistance so it is 22 volt and now we replace this circuit in place of the first part so our new circuit will be like this and now from here two things we have to find one is the diode current and the output voltage so first of all for diode current we'll write the kvl equation so kvl equation i hope you can follow this and solving the current will be 4.84 milliampere which is the diode current and now that current multiplied by 2.2 will give us the output voltage so output voltage is current multiplied by 2.2 is 10.65 volt. The next part, again, we'll uh, try to follow the same technique. First of all, let's draw the batteries. So we are clear. We have drawn these two batteries. And now you can see that this positive is touching the positive of the diode and this negative is touching the negative of the diode. So both these batteries are making this diode forward bias. So we replace the diode with the equivalent voltage 0 0.7 and here also we have to find the diode current and the output voltage so by kvl minus 20 i into 6.8 0 0.7 and minus 20 and solving we get I to be 4.84 milliampere, which is ID. Now V naught is in the middle. So for that, we just rewrite this in this shape. So V naught can be written as this shape. And now we can take the loop equation, either loop one or loop two to find V naught. So I'll do both for your ease of understanding. So if you go for loop one minus 20, I into 6.8 plus V naught. And solving we get V naught to be minus 19.3. Similarly, if you want to solve by loop 2, you can go from here minus V naught plus 0 0.7 minus 20. And from here also you get the same answer that is minus 19.3. And finally, question number 9. Here we have a silicon diode and a gall uh, gallium arsenide diode. We know that positive volt will make the current flow in this direction. So the current direction and the diode arrows are in the same direction. Therefore, both the diodes are forward biased. So we replace them with 0 0.7. For gallium, we write 1.2 volt. Redraw the battery like this. And V1, V01 can be found from this loop. So, minus 12, 0 0.7, V01, from here V01 is 11.3, and V02 can be found directly from here, this V02 is directly across 1.2, so we can write that V02, sorry, here it will be V02, will be 1.2 volt. And the last part is uh, part B, Gallium arsenide and silicon, but they are oppositely connected. And since we have a negative voltage here, so this voltage, negative touching positive, that means gallium arsenide will be reverse bias. And negative touching negative, that means silicon will be forward bias. 
So let's redraw it. So reverse bias gap and forward bias. And now since there is no current flowing because of this break, therefore we can say that V01 is zero. And also since no current flowing here, therefore V02 is also zero volt. So V010, V02. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Let me know your comments. Thank you.